The European Union has struck an historic deal to regulate artificial intelligence after a mammoth 33 hours of talks. The AI Act matters a great deal to companies who want to export you know, intelligent technology to the European market. Anyone, even those in Switzerland, will have to reckon with the, the obligations imposed by the AI Act, even though they're not strictly speaking subject to it. The project was inspired by the idea of DARPA Challenge. It is a famous American competition in robotics. What the founder of the Grand Challenge, Professor Dr. Thomas Bury, wanted to achieve with our Grand Challenge was to host a DARPA in international law, uh, which is why we took the European Union Artificial Intelligence Act and applied it on real technology to see what it actually means for business, for technology and for science. We are approaching the final stage of the competition and what we did here in the last two days is we tried to find out whether the new legislation of the European Union can be applied to artificial intelligence. It's a tremendous challenge, a grand challenge I dare say, because artificial intelligence develops very, very quickly and it spreads out, it touches upon almost all of our domains of life. We had two groups, we had 11 teams. Each team's task was to assess four artificial intelligence applications upon compliance with the EU AI Act. They heard a presentation from each provider and had the possibility to interact individually with each provider. The teams were asked to assess what needs to be done when the Act enters into force and provide assistance, guidance to the AI providers on what they should do. And the jury assessed which of the teams did the assessment best. This competition is about more than winning. It's about making the experience, creating the network, collaborating. The emotions you saw with the teams, the quality of, of, of the work of the teams, what they put in the effort, it was just uh, more than we could have dreamed of when we set out on this journey. Definitely it is the aim to produce something of relevance to the policy process. Maybe the last word on generative AI is not spoken in terms of the legal provisions we have now. I think everyone these days is curious how AI is going to change our lives in future and uh, the grand challenge had something to say practically these very complicated ethical and philosophical issues uh, and I'm very happy we achieved that.